theorem 6.6 .6 tells us that if we have three parallel lines intersect two transversals, in the figure below we have three parallel lines in yellow, which are intersecting our two transversals. Then they divide the transversals proportionally, meaning that AB to DE equals BC to EF. Or you can say that AB to BC, the parts of the blue line, equals DE to EF, the parts of the green line. Let's apply this to a problem. In the figure below, find the length of AB. Well, since we have all of these corresponding angles are congruent, that means we have three parallel lines. And this is the converse to the corresponding angle postulate. If you don't remember that, go back to, I believe it was chapter two where we looked at the parallel lines. Since we have three parallel lines, we know that 16 to 15 equals x to 18. Or we could say that 16 to x equals 15 to 18. Or we could say that x to 16 equals 18 to 15. Any of these ways will work. What we should find is that 15x, we're going to cross multiply, equals 16 times 18. We can use our calculators to find that 16 times 18 is going to give us 288. So we get 15x equals 288 x will equal 288 divided by 15, which is 19.2. Thus, AB equals 19.2. Similarly, we could have found 15x equals 16 times 18. Same equation, we get x equals 19.2. Or again, 15x equals 18 times 16. x equals 19.2. Okay, our last theorem, theorem 6.7, tells us that if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it, and this word should be divides, then it divides the opposite side into segments who lengths, whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. What this means is this. If we have an angle bisector, then it cuts our triangle into two proportional parts. Now oh, I want the highlighter. There we go. We see that BD to AB is going to be equal to DC to AC. The ratio of these green sides is equal to the ratio of the purple. Or you could say that BD to DC, so the side that we're cutting with the angle bisector, is going to be equal to AB to AC. Either one of these works. Which brings us to our next example. If AB equals 15 in the picture below, then find the value of X. Try this one on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to see the solution.